Hey everyone, today I'll be showing you a really awesome self-defense gadget. This thing just looks badass. I'm really happy with the results and this thing is devastating. It's like having a wrecking ball in the palm of your hand. For this project, you're going to need a replacement billiard ball. You can actually pick these up really inexpensively online. In this case, I use the 8-ball because I think it looks the best. Also, you're going to want to head over to a hardware store and pick up a few parts. Here you can see this little cap piece and also this eye bolt. It's a little bit expensive, but it's perfect for this project. It really makes everything solid and awesome. Then you're going to want a little key ring. I salvaged one off of these little survival saws and I like this one specifically because it fits my thumb and it just looks a lot more sturdy than the other ones that I could find. And last, you'll need some paracord. I have two individual strands of nine feet. So 18 feet of paracord in total. It's a lot simple to do, but it looks kind of fugly from the sides. <laughs> so what we're going to do is instead of the slot cut, we're going to drill it out, then use a Woodruff key cutter to just plunge in. That way we'll have a semi-circular slot that the edge of this eye bolt will drop into. It'll look a lot cleaner. Perfect. It'll be like right about there instead of that line. Easy to do, drops in real nice. Hard to do slot with a Woodruff key cutter. Doesn't drop in as deep, Sorry. but it's a lot tighter to the ring. It makes it look a good bit better. use a tool. 
Knowles 101. Using a ball mill as a hand reamer. <laughs> Oh, that's perfect right there. Wow. Dave has unlimited tools. Secondary and proper use of tools. Protractor spanner has a pin spare. Ah, <laughs> uh, I thought those were Neoman's pliers. Oh. <laughs> Wait, let me cut that first and then do we have... Yeah, Dremel we have it off maybe? It's not that tight. Dude, it's pretty good. Yes, we need. To, I need to test all my gadgets on myself before I can know if they're actually useful. Now, for this lanyard, if you want it to look exactly like mine, I used a four-stranded round knot going to a crown knot holding on this key ring, and also a snake knot to hold that on. I'll leave a link in the description to the tutorial that I followed for this. It doesn't have to be this exactly. You can use any type of paracord stranding or braiding whatever you want it doesn't even have to be paracord you could just use a chain if that's all you have it doesn't have to be perfect but i didn't feel like it'd be necessary for me to sit here and teach you guys how to braid and do all that stuff when there's so much material already out there now here we have the last part so it's real simple just take the portion here and you might need to cut that off depending on how much length you have left over and then just take your little piece and screw it on there. Now I would actually put it into the hole. You're going to want to countersink it with another larger bit because it's going to be larger than the actual 516th. So and then last to tighten that on, I'm using these little clippers and you can just tighten it on like so. And that seems to do it. Now if you want to put a little bit of Loctite in there, or if you really want to make this permanent, you can put some epoxy. That'll actually help it strengthen because you don't want any air voids in there that would allow this to crumble. But this thing is ready to go. So leave a comment below. Please give me some constructive criticism. Tell me what you want to see. Because if I'm not making things that you want to sort of work and make, then there's no point. So I'm trying to find a good medium between things that are impressive and really cool and things that you can try at home just for fun. And I want to keep a, a good sort of medium between the two. And I don't know, some people just want to see weapons and they don't want to see anything 3D printing. And I feel bad that they're discouraged and they want to unsubscribe and not come back because it's really impractical for me to have an amazing project every single week. It's just not economical and I need to start treating this like a long-term business. I need, I need to make money and I need to be able to not be stressed out all the time. So some smaller projects like this really make it easier for me and give me some leeway and some time to focus on some bigger projects. So keep that in mind when you're making suggestions. And I'm sorry this is boring. I know you're probably worried about just seeing my hands the entire time. I'll make more appearances in front of the camera wearing the gear mask. but. It does get a little bit hot underneath there, I'll be honest. So anyway, thank you so much for watching, and as always, take it easy.